How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video on this channel and today we're taking a look at my 2021 Ford Transit Connect van and guess what? It's a smart van and I'm about to show you why. So here is my 2021 Ford Transit Connect work van and I have had quite the pleasure of driving this thing for the last couple weeks and I hope to drive it for a long time here. I just purchased it. So why is this thing a smart van? Well, at the very first thing, it is LTE connected via mobile data through AT&T. So this thing can uh, transmit a connection so I can connect my laptop, I can connect my iPad, my phones, whatever to it. On top of that, it also has remote start, remote lock and unlock, and a couple other features too. And it also transmits to Home Assistant a bunch of data that I can automate with and track. I will show you guys all of that soon. So let's just take a look at the, uh, at the inside of the van itself and a little bit about my tools and, and how I operate here. And this is real world, it's not cleaned at all. Um, even dirt on the floorboard right here, but this is the main door right here. Let me pull the keys out so they're not beeping on us. Passenger seat here, nice spacious cab, nice heavy duty, comfortable seats. Nothing fancy when it comes to uh, like no, no CarPlay, no Android Auto, anything like that. Just standard Bluetooth, which is nice. Um, there is actually uh, uh, braking assistance and things like that though, when it comes to, uh, it's accident assistance, I don't even know. I'm not a car guy. I'm really not reviewing the car. I'm more reviewing the smart features of the car, which we're gonna get to shortly, but I'm just showing you my tools. So I have all this stuff, all these containers contain a bunch of like cables and things like that. Uh, HDMI cables, patch cables, um, some other miscellaneous things in one of these bins. And then this other side, um, I will show you here shortly, but a little step ladder. And this is really cool. I love this. Cigarette lighter in the back. I can charge my batteries right here. And just while we're going down the road, we can charge the batteries. I also have a little camera back here, a little dash cam. Um, yeah, and that just hangs on there with command strips. Uh, a little bit of Cat6 cable. This is from a Star garbage from a Starlink job that we did. Some, some uh, little spray bottle for water and some silicone caulk. Uh, my tool bag and just some other miscellaneous garbage that needs to go away. And that blue bucket there is actually a garbage bin. Side view here, let me show you my ladders. This is a little giant level ladder. This thing's heavy, but it will level that feet. I love that leveling feet. And then that blue ladder up there is a six foot um, fiberglass ladder, just a standard small one. And then the orange one is a, I wanna say a 12 foot. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, I've very much enjoyed this car. This is a sleek, clean work van, professional looking. Another dash came in the front there. Let me show you the side. So this is where I keep all my like loose stuff, kind of like, uh, like RJ45 ends and coax ends and uh, keystones, uh, coax keystones too. I also keep things down in this drawer like bolts, staples, all things of that sort, um, some machine screws, things like that. And uh, power tools are in the bottom one here. And then this stuff has some other just quick access like wall plates, things like that. That's kind of just the layout of my van and how I operate here. Um, I guess we'll hop on in just so you can see like, you know, POV of sitting inside the work van, the new work van. But yeah, so I'm gonna get back to the house. I'm gonna show you exactly why this thing is smart and how I've integrated this van into Home Assistant and even into Alexa. I can tell Alexa to turn on the van. Um, I never thought I'd be able to do something like this with a, with a car. Um, and honestly, again, I am not a car guy. I really do not care as long as it gets me from point A to point B, which this thing very much does. And a couple extra bonuses of being able to turn on my car remotely, be able to lock and unlock the door, um, things like that, as long as I have an LTE connection. So. Um, yeah, this is, I got some overhead storage up here and let's get back to the house. I'll show you exactly what Home Assistant brings in for data and what I can do with Home Assistant. And yeah, we will go from there. All right, guys, we're back here at the house and I'm going to show you my Home Assistant installation where I have Ford Pass connected to Home Assistant and I'm even going to show you the steps on how to do it is really, really simple when you have Home Assistant set. Another cool thing, if you wanna check out my home lab where 
this is all running on. Click up above here and check out that video. Really cool video, it shows my whole setup. Uh, go check that out for sure. And if you're enjoying the video, like the video please and press subscribe. It will help the algorithm and help the channel grow and make me wanna do more videos. Let's go ahead and hop on Home Assistant here. All right guys, so we're here on Home Assistant and I'm gonna show you how to set this up. Um, it's very quite simple. The first thing you need though is Hacks. And if you're not familiar with Hacks, it is the Home Assistant community store. If you don't know how to add this, I'll go ahead and link a good video below in the description for you to check that out. But go ahead, install Hacks. Once you have Hacks completely installed, it's really quite simple. You go up here to the search, you type in Ford Pass. You can already see that I already had it there and you can see that I have it downloaded here. You click on it and you go up to these three dots here and I already have it downloaded. So it says re-download, but it will say install or download up here and it'll walk you through the steps that you need. The next thing is here, it would prompt this part for you. So this is the part that you need to type in. This is your Ford username. So it's usually your email or phone number and then it's the password and then where you your account is associated with. And then it, after that, it's there. You, it is added here. From here, you have all the data. So let's check out the entities. So these are all the ent entities that the Ford 2021 Transit Van adds. I'm not gonna go through each single one of these. You can just look and pause and take a look at the video to see stuff that is relevant to you. You also gotta keep in mind that you also set up a refresh variable of some sort. I have mine set up for approximately every 15 minutes, but it's kind of funky. The API call because it drains the battery of the vehicle when it calls and over and over and over again quickly. So sometimes you'll get an update every like 15 to 30 minutes. Sometimes you'll get an update every 12 hours. But if the van is on and it's like driving throughout the day, it gets consistent updates and the data stays consistent. So you can play with that. It works for me. The data that I collect works well. Um, I'm gonna show you on my overview tab up here. I have a little van section right here and this is all the relevant data to me that I'd wanna check on a daily basis. I have the door lock and unlock up here. I have the ignition switch switch and I also have um, the A word uh, set up where I can go A word turn on the van and it turns on the van or A word warm up the van and it starts the van in the morning before I walk out to go hop in it and drive to work. I can also switch it from here too which is nice and it gives us the status and it actually tells me the last refresh time which was uh, today at 5 46 p.m. and it's 602. That's within the last 15 minutes roughly so that's good. Uh, we also have the coolant temperature. We have the fuel level here. The fuel level level within the last 72 hours. So you can see I just filled up and it dropped down. The battery level, which is pretty consistent around 70-ish percent, between 70 and 80 percent, and my fuel or my oil life, and the tire pressure operation. All of this data in Home Assistant is really cool just for someone like me who likes data. And I like to see the data just collect over time. I'm a nerd for it and I think that's probably why you're here too, is because you like the data too. So I completely get it. I, uh, I feel you. If, uh, if that is you. Also just having the flexibility to just turn on the van whenever I need to or, or lock the van if I forgot to walk, getting busy at work and I just need to lock the van real quick, I click that. The one thing about this though is the startup time on the van. Let's say for example, right, um, I, t I press on here, I'll go back to the screen here and press on, swipe this up to on. Um, it takes about 30 seconds for the van to start up, but honestly, I couldn't be happier to be quite honest with you. And this is really cool integration. You can set it up with automations, anything you can do within Home Assistant. It's there if you're familiar with it. Drop a comment, please, if you want to see more Home Assistant stuff. As you can see here, we'll go to settings, we'll go to devices. These are all my devices. I got a bunch of stuff set up, all automated together. So if you wanna see more content, tell me in the comments. Like the video, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my uh, my van.